Pneumonia is defined as inflammation in the substance of the lung, which is usually caused by bacteria. However, it can also be caused by viruses and fungi. There are several different types of pneumonia. Community-acquired pneumonia is the commonest type, and it is acquired through the community. Hospital-acquired pneumonia occurs following a hospital stay for some other condition. This type of pneumonia could be quite nasty because bacterial strains causing hospital-acquired pneumonia are highly resistant to usual antibiotics. Aspiration pneumonia occurs following aspiration of food material or stomach content, caused by impaired swallowing. Immunocompromised patients can acquire pneumonia due to a genetic defect, immunosuppressive medication, or due to HIV infection. Because the patient is immunocompromised in this type, it is considered as a different entity. Ventilator-associated pneumonia is acquired through mechanical ventilation on a critical care unit. Common signs and symptoms of pneumonia include the following. Fever, with or without chills and rigors. Productive cough with white or purulent sputum. Coughing up blood, also known as hemoptysis. Loss of appetite due to increased inflammatory mediators. Shortness of breath due to impaired oxygen exchange. Malice. Cyanosis. Confusion. Increased respiratory rate, also called tachypnea. Increased heart rate, or tachycardia. Low blood pressure. Mild chest pain during inspiration. This is known as pleuritic type chest pain. Now let's discuss about the diagnosis. First, the patient's blood oxygen saturation should be assessed by a pulse oximeter. Blood tests will show elevated white blood cell counts and high C-reactive protein levels due to ongoing inflammation. Chest X-ray is mandatory in suspected pneumonia cases. Here we have a normal chest X-ray. This is a chest X-ray of a pneumonia patient. Small white arrows indicate the consolidation in the lungs due to inflammatory infiltrate in pneumonia. In addition to these tests, sputum is taken for microscopic examination and culture to identify the causative organism. Finally, let's discuss about the treatment. Mild pneumonia can usually be treated at home with antibiotics and plenty of rest. A patient should always finish taking a prescribed course of antibiotics, even if he or she feels better. In addition to antibiotics, painkillers such as paracetamol and ibuprofen may be given to relieve pain. Patients are also advised to avoid smoking and drink plenty of water to keep hydrated. By contrast, severe pneumonia is treated in a healthcare setting with intravenous fluid and antibiotics and appropriate supportive care. Supplemental oxygen may also be needed in some cases.